Hello guys, welcome back to Architectural World. Welcome back. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Please, in case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please kindly hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our amazing class. In today's episode, we're going to be learning how to dimension a building plan. Let me take you to something we want to do today. Today, so we're going to be learning how to how to dimension the building, how to create these dimensions accurately without you having any error that's what we want to be learning today how to dimension a building you know there are a lot of ways to dimension a building but if you want to really get a good way of dimensioning the building like the building that you want to go for approval or you want to build on ground you need to follow this method it's going to give you the best tips ever so let's quickly dive into the class but don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button first i'm using aki 2022 and this same method is going to go for Aki 2023 upward and downward. So first, I'll come down to this part. I'll go to my document. You see this icon here means dimension tools. I'm going to click it. Then I'll go to my settings. This part, there are things you want to do. I really don't want to go into all those things because they are not necessary. But in case you want to change your colors, that's when you start going into all the layout. But in this particular part, there are three things you need to know about plan dimension you see this witness line this witness line means if you want the dimension to fly from none or fly from sized height or fly from custom height or dynamic height first let's see what dynamic height means you see if i come let's assume i want to dimension here i'm going to teach you how to dimension it but i'm just trying to give you an example this dimension height you see there's a there's a grid here there's a line here and I really don't like it because if I want to dimension inner walls like this, let's assume I want to dimension something like this. You can see very well that the line is going to display. You can see, so I really don't need to work with lines. I'm going to take off this. So you already see what the first dimension goes to. If I want to dimension whatever I want to do, I'll always use this none. Let me show you how it's work. None is just going to take. It's going to take the the dimension to the spot you want it without creating any lines so this is the best part to choose then secondly secondly there are something you still need to find that if you check this dimension you can see that the the figures is sitting on top the lines above the lines to see okay now let's check it out on this part you see if i want to dimension these two i'll come down to the spot now you can see that the figure is sitting below the lines before the lines now a situation like this all i just need to do is click this part you see this part this part is telling you that the figure should go above the line or the figure should come below the line or the figure should be between the lines you can see between the lines or below the lines or above the line so you know what you want to do you know how you want your design to go you, you, you know the beauty you're looking for you understand me all I like it to go below when it's necessary and uh, above when it's necessary but in between I really don't do it so now let's dive into our class so in today's episode we're going to be learning how to create a dimension plan in a very simple way so I'm going to turn on this oh uh, there's a video I watched on YouTube the guy was good though I'm not saying the guy is not good but it's going to be so complicating whereby you just click this edge you, you, you click all the other all spots like you come down to the spot you take here I saw something like that on YouTube. Like you come to the spot, you pick all the spotties. Okay, let's see how it's gonna look like. You come down to this spot, you click here, you come down to the spot, you click here, you come down to the spot, you take here, you take here, then you take here, you let go. Let's see. If you can see very well, this rough design, this very rough because it's trying to give us the block walls and which which the engineers on site already know that uh, this wall is going to be 150 millimeter or 225 millimeter because we're going to indicate it on a single wall. Then you see it's rough, it's not necessary. So if I'm creating my dimensions, I like doing it step by step to enable the detailing to be clean. So example, what I mean step by step, I'll come to this spot, I'll take this angle. Then I'll let go. I'll right click, then click OK. Position it the height where I want it. Then I'll let go. You can see very well. I have my 300, 3000. I'll come down to the spot. I'll repeat the same process here. 
then i'll move this stuff to this margin i'll move this spot the moment i activate let me show you how to create it on a straight line on a straight line so i'll come down to the spot you can see this on a straight line i'll let go i'll let go you see so when you want to create your dimension this is the best way to do it you just go down repeat the same process in everything you want to do the same process in how you want to create it the same process you just pick out the spot you want to dimension you pick it into in of it you let go then if you want to dimension the external wall you click the first wall you go to the last wall you click the last wall you come down to the upper section you let go you can see this is the external walls now a situation whereby you have a bench wall like this and you want to get the external wall you come down to the spot you click this you come down to the spot you zoomed you click it then you come down here if you observe it's on a bend way so you have to position your console to you have a straight line then you let go you can see it very well this is 16.11.65 then if i want to do the same thing here i'll come down to the spot come down to the spot i'll click it then i'll repeat the same process here i'll let go you can see so whenever you want to dimension a building do it step by step it takes a lot of time that's true but it's going to give you what you're going to like because if you want to use the easy method you realize that there's going to be errors some digit omission and the rest so whenever you want to dimension a building that you know very well that it's going for approval and it's going to be worked on on site use the step by step dimension process step by step dimension process like doing something like this step by step dimension process that is what you want that's what you need don't go for the shortcut like you just want to fasten it you click all edges you let go no that's wrong that's wrong i'm telling you there's going to be a lot of mistake if you see this diagram very well you can see that the detailing is going appropriately in a way that anybody can be able to understand it you see and when you're dimensioning the beauty and you come across this way in your design whereby there is a, there's the lobby here and you know that the, the height of this two here is not similar to the height of this two here to make it easy for whosoever is going to make use of your plan you click this edge you come down to this spot you will dimension the spot to create a guide for whosoever that is working with it you understand you have to create a guide to it so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our class. Thank you. I love you.